Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I want to show you how to get rid of this gimmicky easy oil change filter on your John Deere lawn tractor. Most of my customers want to do this conversion because they're tired of paying $70 to $80 just for an oil filter filled with oil. And when you actually replace this, which is actually supposed to replace your engine oil, it does not remove all the oil from the engine. And then after when you install the new filter, you have to go and add oil to the engine. So I don't know why they did this. It's totally bad for the environment. People just throw these in the trash with the regular garbage and it ends up in a landfill. So what I'll be doing in this video is showing you how to convert this back to the way it should be with an actual drain plug and a small oil filter. So here are the parts you're going to need for this. Go to your dealer, get part number MIU. 13767. This is the part here. And you will need this drain plug. It is part number AM131611. And then get yourself a regular oil filter, part number AM125424. And it's the shorter filter like this. Now to get started here, I will remove both plastic panels on each side of the machine here. And you'll need an 8 millimeter nut driver or you can use a ratchet and an 8 millimeter socket. Then the panel comes right off. And you also have another plastic panel on this side. Again, it's an 8 millimeter bolt, head bolt. So I did run the engine a few minutes before I started the video here just so that the oil would come out of the engine a little bit easier. What I need to do now is remove this bolt here and the whole filter assembly will come off. Now this might be messy guys so get a cardboard under your machine, some rags, just something to grab a bit of the oil that will be spilling. So now what I'm going to do is just snip the tie wrap here. And remove this filter. What you need to do is push down a bit and turn counterclockwise. There we go. And you can see there's still oil left in there. That's the part that I'll be removing. Now to remove this part, you need a 28 millimeter socket. And I put a rag underneath and a pan because some oil will come out. So no matter which way you do it guys, there will be some kind of mess. Now you're going to need this part over here and you want to put your Allen socket right in there. You're going to need a 12 millimeter Allen socket like this. And now you want to screw that right into here. This is the part that your oil filter will screw on by the way. And now what you want to do is tighten that up. Now just use common sense guys, I don't have the torque specs here, but put, put it fairly tight. Okay, that's about as tight as I'm going to put that. And now what I'm going to do is put the new filter on. And now just hand tighten the filter. Don't use the tool. And that's good enough. Now I'm going to clean up all the oil here that spilled and then go to the other side and show you what to do. Okay, now grab this part here. I'm going to put some pipe dope on it. It's a Loctite 567. You don't need much of this. Now I'm just going to keep that here on the side. And now I need to remove this oil plug here. Now what's going to happen when I remove it is some oil will come out again. But what I'm going to do is quickly screw this in so that it comes out the other end here. Now to remove these oil plugs like this with four sides, you're going to need an eight point socket. This one here is a 7 16 Now if you don't have a 7 16 eight point socket, you can grab a 7 16 open end wrench and try to undo it. Okay, so the plug came off quite easily. 
and I'm just going to get ready here with with the new part it's already making a mess as I can see here so no matter what way I do this guys it's going to make a mess so I like to have rags ready because I don't want the oil to get on the belts. The other side was actually a bit less messy. And now I'm going to just pull the cap here, turn it and pull. And I'll drain the oil here for a bit. You can see exactly here what I meant when I said that when you change the oil with the filter that I removed how there's still lots of oil left in the engine and check out all the oil that's still coming out of the engine so you can see how full that container is getting and, and when it's that full I normally have over one liter of oil in there so it just goes to show how much of a gimmick this is that you think you're getting an oil change but in reality there's still a lot of oil left in your engine. Now, once you're done draining the oil, just line up the plastic piece here and turn it. And now what you'll need is a 24 millimeter wrench to tighten up the drain plug. So it's going to go in quite a little ways here, about half an inch to three quarters of an inch in the engine. And again, be very careful. You don't want to over tighten this because you could strip the threads and you don't want to crack the block. And that's about as tight as I'm going to put this on here. And I'm going to put the side panels back. You want to put the lip in here. And do the same on this side. And you may want to reroute the fuel line right inside this plastic bracket. And again, you'll need an eight millimeter nut driver or an eight millimeter socket. And now what I'm going to do is add oil to the engine. And I'm going to put some 10W30 in here. Now what I do when I'm adding new oil to the engine is I run it once I've put about a liter and a half in there just to get the oil in the existing filter. The reason I do that is so that the oil filter gets filled up and then when I check the oil level it's more accurate. And this is where you want the oil level to be at, right at the top of the serrated area. So that's all there is to doing this conversion guys and you won't have to be buying these expensive oil filters anymore. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and that you are following me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a great day.